jazzy, Sam. I want to dance every time I it. Always gets us in the mood right I know, before. It does, it does. It's time for my favorite part of Sunday morning science hacks with Samantha Jacks. Okay, we have one with candy corn and scientific method today. Yes, yeah, so I don't know if you remember, think back to your high school, even elementary school days. Yeah. The scientific method is a process that researchers and scientists use in order to test a hypothesis. Okay. And we're going to do that today with all your leftover candy corn. So I'm sure you have lots of leftover uh, Halloween candy, mm -hmm. and it's going to be very simple. All you're okay. going to need are three different types of liquid for this experiment, and then your candy corn. In this case, we are using vinegar. We're also using dish soap, and then one of our cups is filled with hot water. So, when I'm simple. like a kid, I'm already digging into the candy corn. <laughs> That's the most important. Shannon's part. just going to eat during yep. this entire yep. experiment. Yep, I'm snack in. <laughs> okay, so we have our pumpkins yes. ready to go. We have your pumpkins. So the first thing that you start off with with the scientific method is you're going to ask a question. So my question to everybody at home and to Shanna is, what do you think will happen when you place these candy corns in different types of liquid? Mm -hmm. Now the second step of the scientific method is going to be background information. So Shanna, what do you know about candy corn? Lots of sugar. Lots of sugar in them, right. So yeah. um, what happens to candy corn when you put it in your mouth? That's a good question. Melts. It melts. So mm -hmm. maybe that will happen in one of the liquids. These are. This is how scientists and researchers think about problems. The okay. next step is going to be forming a hypothesis. Now you might remember what that is at home. Mm -hmm. It's going to be an if-then statement. Can you give me a hypothesis for this? Okay, so if we put this in vinegar, then I think it will dissolve. Okay, great. So that's Shanna's hypothesis for the three different types of liquid. Now we test it okay. out. So okay. go ahead and drop your candy into each different jar. Our first one, it has the vinegar in it. Our middle jar has the hot water in it. And then our last jar has dish soap. Okay, and so I think dissolve in vinegar, hot water, maybe expand, dish soap, wow. No, we'll Wild shrink guess. just because it's different. Enough. There you go. Okay, so those are Shanna's three guesses with her hypothesis. We're testing the experiment now, and then we're going to analyze our results. So let's take a look. I've gone ahead and already done this experiment. So I'm and how long have these out. been sitting? These have been sitting for about an hour. Okay, so not so that long. I'm going to this one. This jar right here is our vinegar. And you can see that it did dissolve uh, yeah. some. Uh -huh. We actually have the outer layer, the outer shell did not dissolve. So that means it's probably made up of a more solid type of sugar, a more dense type of sugar than the inside of the candy corn itself. Hmm, the okay. next we have our hot water, which More actually dissolving. dissolved it the most. Yeah. It turned the water orange, but that shell is completely there. We still have the inside of the candy as well. And okay. last but not least is the dish soap. We saw so, nothing happened. Not much happened. of anything. All not right. much of anything happened. So that's the process that scientists use to test an experiment and figure out some results. Very interesting. I love that. And it's good too because I'm sure we have tons of extra candy laying around and then we can do it in a nifty experiment too. Yeah. That's perfect. Absolutely. And one other thing, we want to thank Mr. Len's third grade class at Campbell Elementary School um, in Mo Mona Shores there for testing out one of our science experiments that we did a couple weeks back. You can find more science experiments just like these by heading to our website and searching Science Hacks with Samantha Jackson. Just so happy to see those kids testing out this experiment. Oh, this is so fun. So good to see. Definitely do it at home. To send us your pictures as well. Yes. And we will be right back.